How's it going today, my friends? As always, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. Now, like a lot of you, I'm a huge fan of TV shows, movies, whatever it may be. I have never met one person that hasn't had a favorite TV show or a favorite movie. That being said, that is because when you see things that you can't do in a TV show and it's something that you literally dream of and something that you would kill for, it's just like you love watching the show and you get into it. I don't know if it's like that with you guys, but it's definitely like that for me. Like when I was a kid and I would start watching Dragon Ball Z and I would, you know, feel like I could actually do that shit. Kami, Kami. And then sometimes I would really get into it. <gasps> and then sometimes I really believed I was about a Kami Hami. <gasps> I know I can't be the only person out there that just wants to hold their hand say some magic words and watch shit explode or pick up monitors with your fucking mind. That is why whenever there's a video game or a movie with something like that, for me, I just get so into it. I'll knock like five seasons out of a show on Netflix just because I like, I just like what they're doing. Too bad we live in a world of tricks, no real magic here. But that's why we have video games and movies and such like that, to appease our magic needs. I don't know if I used that word correctly. Fuck it. Since we're on this topic, I want to know what your guys' favorite TV show of all time is. One where you literally could not stop watching episodes you literally needed to see the next one ASAP. Doesn't matter how old it is, how long ago you watched it, just your all-time favorite TV show. And then like a movie that literally had you like on the edge of your seat. I just want to know if I have like any of the same TV show interests or movie interests as some of you guys. So definitely let me know down in the comment section. Thank you. Now just because I really like TV shows and movies doesn't mean I spend all my time, you know, watching TV shows and such. It's just when I find that, you know, one good show with characters I like, a good fucking plot or whatever, I just just get really into it. That being said, it kind of sucks because I'll finish the whole thing in like a week or two and I don't I don't even get to really space it out. I'm done. I got nothing more to watch. I've watched probably like 20 entire TV series on Netflix. It's it's a little sad. Probably clocked in more days on that than I have COD. Do you think TV and movies would influence people to do crazy shit? Or do you think it actually kind of helps people not do it? Because I think it's kind of both. People will see things that they think that they can do in a TV show or a movie and they'll like go out and do them because they're a crazy motherfucker. And then there's people like me or who are like super safe and cautious and they'll see something go completely wrong and they'll never I'll never want to do that if I see somebody else fail at something I'll, ne I'll never try it TV shows and movies their only purpose is entertainment you know they're not really meant to influence good or bad I guess that's why they rate movies and TV shows duh TV and movies are just some of those things I can't imagine not being in this world you know what I'm talking about those two things along with music it's just like if they weren't here if we didn't have those like what the fuck would it be like? A world without movies and TV shows. I wonder what all those actors would be doing. Like you go in to get your fucking hair cut and it's Brad Pitt or some shit. He'd be the most famous barber ever. Every girl would get their hair cut there. Even I would. Okay, I said that strictly to make you laugh. I was not serious. Or was I? Thank you all very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it and you would like to make my day, I'm trying to hit 3,000 likes on this upload. Have yourselves a fantastic day, my friends. A farewell and a goodbye. Woo!